What is the ruling on using dream catchers or wind chimes? Now, if I understand the question correctly, these so-called dream catchers are a form of decoration that people hang in the ceilings or over doors, whether it's made from wooden uh, uh, pipes or from metal, so that when the wind blows, it gives a sound, and this sound might be pleasant, might ha it, it does not have any system to it, usually. So some people may be confused that this can be similar to music. And without any doubt, this is not music because it does not have a rhythm to it. It has, does not have certain tunes that it follows that would make a person enjoy as when he listens to mu music. So basically speaking, hearing such random noise or sounds is like when someone is sewing a piece of wood or a, 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 a blacksmith is, is hitting a piece of metal. It's the same thing. And hence, there is nothing wrong in listening to it. However, if the people, the normal people see it and they get the idea that you have installed or placed it so that it would ward off jinn or nightmares, as some people may think of it, in this case it becomes haram. Why? I don't have any belief in it. Yes, it's true you don't have any belief in it, but others do. And hence, due to the fact that others may think negatively, either of you or of it, because of their uh, a bad conviction or bad iman in such superstitious things, it becomes prohibited for us. Like someone who likes the blue eye as a form of decoration and she wears it as a necklace or hangs it on the door. And we say, why are you doing this? She says, looks nice, beautiful. And she has no intention or belief that this prevents evil eye. It's still haram for her to wear or to put in her house. The origin is the hadith narrated in Sahih Imam Muslim where a man came to the Prophet and he said, O Prophet of Allah, I made a vow, nether, to slaughter a camel in Buwana, an area close to Medina, called Buwana. So the Prophet asked him two questions. One, is there an idol that is being worshipped by the idol worshippers? Because then they will confuse you for slaughtering it for their idol, not for Allah. Though you're doing it for Allah. But the Prophet made sure, alayhi salam. So the man said, no. Question two. Is there any Eid, any festival, celebration that reoccurs every single year on the same time? And this is another confusion that a lot of the Muslims try to turn a blind eye to. A Eid is something that reoccurs. So your birthday is a Eid. Your anniversary is a Eid because it reoccurs every single year on the same particular date. And this is totally prohibited to celebrate. The Prophet made and gave us only two Eid to celebrate, Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. So the Prophet asked him, is there any Eid in it? And the man said, no. Then the Prophet said, fulfill your vow and slaughter that camel. So I hope this answers your question.